Hi, I thought I'd go over how I cleaned my pig cage. This is for one friend in particular, Miss Gwen. Um, I already scooped out most of her cage, well, all of her cage, and put that into a big plastic bag. Um, I couldn't find any newspapers last week, so I used paper bag, plastic, uh, I mean, brown paper bags. Worst idea ever. I couldn't roll them up at all. Alright. Right now I have um, it layered with newspapers and uh, newspapers. And then I have one layer of newspaper down right now. And then I have puppy pads down. And then I'm going to put on another layer of newspaper. So it can leave. We'll just stay here. Yeah. So, um, I'm going to put down another layer of newspaper. And when I'm cleaning out my cage, I have big old yellow gloves on because, ew. And make sure that you have gloves on or that you scrub your hands really super well because you are touching poop. So I already have my puppy pads down and I'm going to put down another layer because the puppy pads have plastic in them and I want to keep them away from the pig since Plastic is irresistible kryptonite for guinea pigs. But I just layer. Um, I try and pay extra attention to the corners since that's where she likes to go bathroom. Um, I'll probably just put down another layer or so of paper. I don't need to put down so much paper over in this area of my cage because that's where the kitchen goes. But it's always nice to have some extra paper because my puppy pads aren't over there either. Um, tap those pads and she usually doesn't go digging around in her bedding so it's not such a big issue. But I just want to be careful because I don't need a dead guinea pig on my hands which is understandable. <laughs> so She also has a thing for duct tape so if you're making a pig pen don't use duct tape because they like those I guess. Just put down another layer here. Okay. So I have that. This is our kitchen, which I think I'm going to spray out and wipe down real quick. Uh, spray though? I use this stuff. It's called Wild Harvest Cage Cleaning and Deodorizing Spray. Um, I only have it because um, Kyle, the guy who gave it to me, gave the pig to me had this. Um, otherwise you can use vinegar too, which is pig friendly. So I just sprayed this down. I did this to the entire cage bottom too. Spray it down. Spray down the sides too because that's where her water bottle is. So there's icky stuff from her water bottle. Alright, and then I just let it sit for a little bit. Grab some paper towel and I wipe it up. I already swept all of this too. I, I went to the dollar store and I found like a little sweeper and dustpan that seems it's perfect for pigs, pretty much. So, yep. Yeah. I just put that away into a big trash can that I've collected. Um, this cage cleaning, another good thing about vinegar, um, is that it, uh, gets rid of the scent. So, even, because sometimes if you just clean it with regular stuff, um, it'll still smell like pig. Um, but now this deodorizes and it makes it not so stinky. Pigs really don't smell that much, though. Um, as long as they have a good cage that, um, that is aerated, I guess. The bigger the cage, the better, the less smelly it will be. So, now I'm going to put down, this is KT Aspen Bedding. Always use Aspen, don't use Pine or Cedar, because Pine, the particles are too small and the pigs can inhale them and get an upper respiratory infection. And with Cedar, it's because of the scent that makes it not safe for pigs. 
So always go for Aspen or find some other alternative. Um, this is a new bag and I can't open it. There it is. But, yep. I always go for Aspen. Um, when I first got her, I used, um, I layered with newspaper and then I used news, then I used shredded newspaper, which seemed to work okay, but I prefer this stuff way better. So now I'm just going to put this down on top of my newspaper. I'm going to make it nice and thick, like I said, extra care to the corners since those are the ones that get soaked the fastest. If you're wondering where Lily is, she's out on the porch right now. Screwing around doing something. I better go find her real quick. Hey, oh, there she is. She's on her rug. Okay. And this stuff is kind of fun because I think they're kind of hard to scoop out. But, yep. Spread it around. Like I said, I don't put bedding in the kitchen area because my pig's freaking picky. And I don't need to be wasting food just because they got some bedding got in there. But yeah, no, I'm putting this down like, I don't know, maybe an inch, inch and a half thick. Just because it will flatten out um, in between. So you want to make it thick then it'll be more absorbent. And this Aspen stuff off, so along with the newspaper, the Aspen um, uh, helps soak up the odors and the wet. Um, but it's nice to have those puppy pads now. I didn't even think about using them until I read it online. Um, because the newspaper, if it gets really, really soaked, it'll fall apart when you try to roll it up and then that gets really nasty. Because it's pea-soaked newspaper. <laughs> So, almost done. Oh, maybe another handful. Right, so. So that's what it is. Have the Aspen. And now I'm going to add um, my KT Care Fresh. Um, yes, I use the same brand. KT is recommended on a lot of those websites that I gave you. So now I'm going to use. Or no, this is Care Fresh, but this is Care Fresh Natural Bedding. Um, this stuff is really cool because it's made out of recycled all that jazz, and it expands. So you can take a hand a handful of it that you take out of the bag is like two handfuls full of everything. So, I'll put this up here again. But this is the top layer and sh this is super comfortable for the pig to lay on. I mean it's just great stuff. You know, and I just spread that around. I break it up. It's coming and comes kind of in clumps. So you just break up the clumps. See, it's in a big clump. And you just break it up around the cage and you spread it out. I like to spread it thick enough so that I don't see any of the aspen bedding underneath. Um, so. But it spreads out real well. And if I were a pig, I'd find this stuff really comfortable because just feeling it in my hands, it just feels really super nice and soft to lay on. So this is easier. I feel like this is faster than putting down that pine because it spreads out so much and just expands. I have a lot of things down today. And, um, there's no such thing as too much bedding. Uh, pigs like to burrow. And, like I said, the stuff is super, super comfortable, so it's all good. I'm gonna roll this up. Put it down here. I'm gonna get my 
This is my little broom and dustpan that I got from the dollar store. Sweep up the extra bedding and just put it over here. Like I said, she's picky. Um, so she doesn't care so much if hay gets into it, into her food, because she just eats the hay. But pigs don't eat their bedding, unless you're bedding, unless you have um, hay as a top layer on your bedding for burrowing. So, but then I'm gonna add. A towel. I have to do my washing. But I'm going to add this fleece. And actually, I'm not going to use a fleece. Fleece is her blanket that I use, but I'll just put down one of her other towels. I usually layer with two towels, but I just discovered that I need to go wash my towels, so I only have one left. No big deal. Um, so I'll put this down just because it's absorbent. And then it's not so much of a pain in the butt to clean out the kitchen area. I just have to switch the towel out and shake it out and stuff. So then I have that. Now. Here's Lily going back into her cage. She's purring. She likes it. Yeah, pig. So I set her cage up pretty much in the same way that I always do. And she decides whether or not she wants to do rearranging. Because her favorite thing to do is to turtle with her pig glue. Which means that she'll poke her head out of her pig glue. And then she'll just move it around. To where she wants it to be. So, <sighs> yeah. Oh, and also, um, for her food, I have this little container that I put her food that she didn't eat in here, um, because she wants fresh food. She gets fed twice a day with a uh, quarter tablespoon, four times, or. Er, well, she gets fed two tablespoons a day, but I split it up into four feedings. So, however the heck that gets worked out. So, who's in that right pig? So, yep.